Hey, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is another special video as the device we have here is a uh, special one. Now on its own, the iPod Shuffle first generation is not that much of a big deal. However, the history of this specific one is quite interesting. Now in 2005, uh, well, 2006, there was a movie called The Departed. Uh, it starred Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, uh, Mark Wahlberg, Jack Nicholson, Vera Farmiga, uh, Alec Baldwin and Martin Sheen and a couple of others as well. So big names in the industry. Uh, this movie was shot in 2005 and released in 2006. Um, you can go watch it out if you watch it if you want. I really haven't watched it. I kind of skimmed through it. Um, but the, this iPod, is a iPod, one of, one of many actually, um, that were handed out during filming or after filming to uh, members of the uh, production crew. I got this thing off Macari for this price here, a total of $27. And this was the seller's initial description. Um, it was handed out to production members on the set of the movie in 2005. It is also engraved, well not engraved, it's printed, The Departed 2005. The movie was released in 2006, however, um, shooting was in 2005. And the seller was uh, one of the uh, production crew um, who worked on this movie. So um, they were also given uh, this device. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of these out there as well, but the only one that I've seen online was this one and I bought it. Um, what else? The, oh yeah, so I, I spoke to uh, the seller as well and uh, they confirmed that uh, um, they worked on the set of the movie and uh, this is basically uh, what they handed out. Also, uh, there is a special booklet like thing inside uh, that details all the songs that have been put on this iPod and the all the songs on this iPod have been personally selected by the crew, uh, by, by the cast of the movie. So uh, Mark Wahlberg, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Matt Damon, etc, etc. Uh, music that they personally selected is on this iPod. Uh, and there's a booklet-like thing, which I'll show you, that lists all these movies. So let's unbox this first. Uh, the headphones are missing, but apart from that, this thing is basically brand new, used a couple of times. Let's leave that to a side for now. Um, this is the usual booklet that they uh, that they give out. Uh, it usually has a CD. I have not uh, unboxed a first-gen shuffle um, before. So here's that booklet that I to told you about. So. The Departed 2005 song list. So the the print on the iPod, I'm not sure if Apple did it or someone else did it. Because as I, as I remember, Apple did not engrave, or did they? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, I'll just put it up here. I can't really remember off the top of my head whether Apple engraved first generations. Either way, this booklet is definitely custom that they did uh, separately. So here's a list of all the songs on this uh, iPod. And uh, you can see the, the the song, the artist, and the person on the cast who selected it. For example, The Real Slim Shady by Eminem. Uh, Matt Damon is who selected that song to be put here. Um, then uh, Rhythm Futur, uh, Di Diango Reinhardt, um, Leonardo DiCaprio selected that. Then uh, Boogie on the Re Reggae Women um, by Stevie Wonder. Again, Leonardo DiCaprio. And uh, on this side, we have a bunch of others. So these are the producers. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Benny and the Jets by Elton John. Graham King, that's probably one of the producers on the movie set. So you get the idea. So there's a lot of these. Uh, probably, how many How many songs? 196. So yeah, 196 songs on this iPod. This thing is capable of holding 240 songs because it, uh, it is the one gig variant of the iPod. Apart from the, the box and stuff are just basically the same apart from this and the print. So let's leave that to a side there, see uh, what else is here in the box. Uh, should be your standard uh, layout here of iPod shuffle first generation. Let's get the box out of the way. So we have the, uh, the controls over here. We have something to do with iTunes or your free music thing back they had in the day. Uh, user guide, Apple stickers, still unused, the big old ones. They're not really white, they've grayed, they kind of creamed out over time to become that cream color. Uh, warranty, software license agreement, warranties over here. 
the software CD that a lot of iPods came with and unused uh, the ear, ear pad things. So those are basically standard stuff that you find on any iPod shuffle at the time. Uh, it's just this booklet that's different. So we'll leave that over here to the side. Let's get the iPod. Um, how do you do this? I've not, I've never opened a uh, first gen like that. So this is used, however, uh, not much. So that's the uh, cap. You can change the cap if you want um, to uh, to put to basically switch it to this lanyard strap like thing. So you can change the uh, this cap like thing, and you can put uh, the lanyard over it. So that is there as well. Uh, let's leave these two aside. It does work fine, it charges up, it'll just take a while to charge. Um, and uh, as you can see, it is in excellent condition. The only slight signs of wear are on this uh, on this uh, slider, the uh, shuffle selection slider, uh, but everything else is in excellent condition. I pasted that over the serial numbers, that, so just ignore that. Um, the Departed 2005, uh, it is sort of, the, it's textured, so it's a textured, not, a, not really an engraving, uh, I really don't know how to, what you say for that. It is textured though, so it has, uh, uh, yeah, it does, I definitely feel it. So um, as far as I really remember, Apple never engraved the first generation because it's plastic. You really can't uh, engrave it. Maybe you can, maybe they printed over it, but I'm pretty sure this, all this, the, the print and this, uh, well, this is definitely a third party job, but the printing is also pretty sure it's third party. They sent the iPod to some printing service back in the day. Uh, but apart from what it is, it's just a simple uh, iPod shuffle first generation. It's just interesting to see that uh, it contains music uh, selected by big celebrities like DiCaprio, Wahlberg, Damon, uh, Vera Famiga, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be plugging this to my computer because it's going to erase it then because uh, it's been done on a different account. And if I plug it to my iTunes or my computer, it's going to erase it because it doesn't recognize the account. So I'm never going to be plugging this to a computer. Uh, I'm going to leave it as is. Someday the battery is going to flip out. So I'll have to figure something out. Taking these apart is not easy, um, especially the first generation. And I don't want to mess this one up, so I might just leave it as it is. But yeah, I guess there's nothing else that I can talk about this. Uh, it is what it is, apart from the fact that uh, it's a movie set handout. Um, there's nothing else that I can say about it. Um, pretty interesting device. I'm not really sure how much this thing is really worth because uh, it has some interesting history to it. Uh, I'm not going to be ever selling it. It's just going into my collection and it will be there alongside all the other rare and vintage iPods that I own. And uh, yeah, I may do a video on this in the future in like, I don't know, a long time uh, kind of revisiting it. But for now, that is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching as usual and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please consider leaving a like on this video and hitting that subscribe button if you already haven't and uh, check out my social media down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.